Hi everyone, this is Carla from DIY Happy Home coming to you from Pennsylvania. Uh, we are home for a couple of weeks here, possibly more, and I thought I would come to you with some quick uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas and some certainly some treat ideas for you and the kids uh, while you are home as well. Um, this one I'm doing a quick um, lunch my my one boy likes pasta so I heated that up for him and uh, for the other two I'm gonna do some quick English muffin pizzas in the air fryer so I have uh, some uh, regular English muffins here I have them cut in half I'm gonna do a quick toasting of them in the air fryer without sauce and to so they don't get too soggy and then I will add the sauce and some cheese for a quick lunch. So I'll come back to you uh, with the air fryer. Here they are in the air fryer for a quick toasting. And I'm gonna put the, um, I think I'm gonna do the, I use this cheese melt setting all the time. And I'm just gonna up it. Let's try, let's do 380. And it just does it for a couple minutes. I think it's three minutes. And we'll be back. Okay, they're done. Um, see how they're a little bit brown? That should keep them from getting really soggy. And let me get the. Okay, I'm back. I put some. I have pizza sauce here. My favorite pizza sauce is Don Pepino's. It comes in a can. It's a yellow can. It's absolutely delicious. And you can put as much sauce as you want. I just try to keep the sauce not too saucy, so it doesn't get soggy plus my kids are kind of messy eaters and they'll wear most of the sauce on their face so I um, kind of go a little light on the sauce just for the flavor and this is my favorite uh, cheese like Parmesan sort of but it's um, Locatelli cheese I don't want to spill it here but so you can see Pecorino Romano cheese. Uh, it's the brand is genuine Locatelli. It's grated Pecorino Romano, has a nice salty taste, and you can use any mozzarella cheese you want, grated or I have some deli sliced here that I'm gonna use. We've got some, and my kids are fighting over the at the computer. For um, we are doing not. What is that? What is that called, kids? Uh, Adventure Academy. And they're like all obsessed with the Adventure Academy. So anyway, um, we just started it today. Okay, so I have deli cheese here, mozzarella. But you can use like the bag mozzarella, grate your own. I like to grate my own sometimes too. And then just put a couple slices on top. I just take it and I quarter the mozzarella deli slices and sometimes the air fryer it can fly off so it's better oh my god my camera work is horrible I'm sorry I'm trying to do like two things at once here um, I'm planning on doing a peanut butter bars one soon so I will show you um, on the tripod for the next one so I don't make you seasick um, so anyway I'm gonna get the cheese on and show you next uh, what to do in the air fryer. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've got the cheese on and then I put a little Italian seasoning on top and I'm ready for the air fryer. Okay, I'm going to do five here because if I put the sixth one in, it's going to overlap and the cheese will be all over the place. So um, let's put them in and set it. I'm going to do cheese melt again and I'm going to up it. I like them probably maybe 400 and just for three minutes. It's so fast. And it'll be done. You'll have like pretty yummy uh, English muffin pizzas. You can do this with tortillas. You could do it with low carb tortillas. I would crisp the tortilla up a little bit first if you like a crispy crust. You could use mini naan pizzas or um, I'm sure you could fit a decent sized naan in here. Um, what else could you do? Pretty much anything. If you have bread right now, you could even use just regular bread sourdough bread would be good make yourself a little pizza with some sourdough bread um but just some ideas for here they go they're like fighting over this this uh this uh system here oh, what, what is it called again something academy 
What's it called, Daniel? Adventure Academy. Adventure Academy. We couldn't get on ABC Mouse. If anybody has any tips, we used a code. It didn't work. Uh, I think that my uh, kids would like ABC Mouse as well. Here's the finished product. Uh, they're like crunchy, crispy, uh, and pretty tasty for a quick snack or for uh, some quick lunch or even dinner. And you, know, and you can do bagels too, guys. So whatever works. Do you like these, right, Daniel? Yeah. Yeah, Daniel really does like these. Can I'm going to put some uh, little a side of grape tomatoes cut up for my boy Daniel here. And uh, we're going to have a quick lunch and then get back to some homeschooling. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. And hit that subscribe button for future videos. And thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Say bye, Daniel. Bye. Okay, so my cheese flew off the single one. Not the whole cheese, but part of the cheese. See that stuff there? But I wanted to show you guys, I'm making one on a low-carb tortilla for myself. So uh, here's the tortillas. Um, oops. So La Tortilla Factory low-carb whole wheat tortilla. They will make a good pizza too. And I'm going to put some mushrooms on top. Uh, and I'll show you that when it's done. I put the mushrooms in, cut them up and put them in the air fryer too on the cheese melt setting. That's my favorite setting if you can't tell. Uh, up to 400 degrees and then um, just for three minutes and they came out hot so then I put them on the tortilla and I'm gonna throw this in the air fryer. And there is my mushroom tortilla pizza, low carb, whole wheat tortilla. Um, the mushrooms, it, it comes out really yummy. If you like mushrooms, you can put any, any vegetable you like on there. Mushrooms is what I had and wanted to use. Um, but then you could put onion, uh, peppers, any, anything you like. Broccoli, um, I would just cook it a little bit in the air fryer separately and then, um, put them on top so they don't get wet and soggy. And uh, it, literally it will take three minutes to make, uh, a pizza. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.